Uh, well, it's a Monday. That's the kind of thing we have. Also, uh, you know, I don't know whether it's a confluence of weird events at the same time, but this week in which we have the Vatican getting aggressively involved in things like climate change and urging the United Nations to get moving on it comes at a time when we are already worried about that last week in October, typically the most problematic of the fourth quarter, and things are indicating that as we kick off with about a 26-point slide. But is that always true, especially on a month that has defied expectations that normally haunts investors? Hasn't just yet. Gary Kalpon, Mike Ozanian. Uh, guys, should we be fearing this? Gary, to you first. What do you think? Look, I think that with uh, Europe and China now easing even more, I think that kind of puts a floor under the market. I would suspect near term we can pull back here. We had a ridiculous move in the last week off of horrible earnings and sales numbers, but I think a floor has been put underneath. I don't think we go much higher here. I think any more rally will be narrow, but I'm not so sure we're going to get uh, trashed here uh, into the end of the year anymore. You know, Mike, it would take a huge sell-off to reverse the gains we have seen in this month. I mean, it could still happen. We've certainly seen October do that, but it doesn't have the feel of that. But what's your thought? I'm more worried than our good friend Gary Neal because I think it's going to come down to corporate profits. And I think that the third quarter is going to be the second consecutive quarter where earnings are going to be in decline. And this is going to be the first time that's happened since 2009, except there's one big difference, and that is we're not going to have much more room for Fed easing and for corporations to take advantage of cheap money like they have the past seven years. That's mostly gone right now. So I'm afraid this is going to be a slide caused by a decline in earnings. The only worries I would draw some distinction, Gary, to what uh, you know, Mike pointed out, and I agree with him, there are a lot of worries about these 150 so companies that are expected to report. It's been telegraphed that they're going to have problems, right? Uh, correct. And if there's anything I saw last week, uh, Neil, that was telling was 3M misses sales numbers and lowers guidance and goes up $6. So it's not necessarily the news sometimes. It's how the markets react to the news. And I just think, look, we've had seven years of 0% interest rates, 15 to $20 trillion of printing of money. It's buffered the markets for so many years. And they're still easing even more. And I think that's what's doing the trick right here. I think the economy is not going to do very well going forward. I think we're probably going to be flat for the third quarter. But markets are looking at something else right now and that's the easy money so i don't i think we can go lower here but i think we uh, we've seen the low for the year mm. at the lows but I, I also think we're getting close to the highs for the year also you know it reminds me of just setting a low bar mike if you think about it that it was so telegraphed <laughs> that these companies were going to do poorly that i'm wondering whether um even when they do uh it it it, it beats the already lowered expectations so in a flip sense your very valid point becomes pointless you know what i mean that that all of a sudden hey we we knew that things are rotten we're, we're grateful they're not nearly as rotten well i've been pointless most of my career as you know Neil, <laughs> I, I you meant know. nothing by but that you, said friend, you know what i mean like, <laughs> like this is something that's out there i'm trying to walk that back because that was me <laughs> no I, and, and gary brings up a great point which is it's hard to predict how the market's going to react even to bad news at times but when i start to look at what's happened to margins, operating margins. In other words, how much profit companies have been able to wring out of each dollar of sales. That's been on an upward trajectory for about seven years now, and it's starting to flatten. So I really am nervous about the fact that if companies can no longer boost their profit margins as they have the past seven years, then what's really going to drive earnings higher and further What's going to allow them to continue to increase dividends, which has been another thing that investors have really flocked to the past few years? Yeah, and it was a safety, something to fall back on. Even your stock isn't doing much. You got the assurance of that steady dividend. We'll see, gentlemen. Uh, time, as I say, will tell.